This video is made for adult collectors because Armada is 21 years old. God damn. I feel like I'm losing my heart. Is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant I don't need shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing so So Armada seems to be getting all of the love right now in Legacy Sure we've had a couple of Cybertron toys But Armada seems to be eating so good right now Now please give us some energy on So Hasbro listened We got Armada toys and people, myself included Were disappointed when they didn't come with Minicons so they went ahead and made Minicons. Like, what? I'm very surprised. So these two are probably the coolest Armada-related legacy toys to me. Reason I say related is because that is Shattered Glass Sideswipe, but it's clearly a pre-deco for Armada Wheeljack. So I'll quickly get into Sideswipe because I'm sure you want to see Armada Prime. So Wheeljack, Wheeljack, Sideswipe, God, the I love this. This mold is just great to start with. So giving it a new head, new swords, and an entire fucking Minicon, yes. The car also has the cool slash on the chest thing, which is really neat. But that Minicon, though, it's it's great. Unlike the Micro Masters, it doesn't fall apart. It stays together. It's solid. It looks great. It poses pretty well for its size. And it's just a nice, fun little pocket toy like Minicons should be. So Minicon articulation, very simple. Nothing at the head, which is kind of unfortunate. Ball jointed shoulders and go all the way around in and out. You got elbow bends as well that also bend the other way uh hips can go forward back in and out no thigh rotation and more than 90 degrees of bend at the knee and then the heel moves so you can like get him into sort of like walking poses if you that that's how you walk yes walking poses if you want to also one thing i wanted to mention and this has nothing to do with this when i made this guy's video the other day i should have been a bit more clear with the knees they are supposed to lock but mine mine don't like that's as far as ah, it's as far as it's going and it, it, they just don't lock in and I think the locks just don't work on my copy and that's why I had that issue I know they're supposed to lock in I should have mentioned that they're supposed to lock in and I didn't and I'm sorry but they just they don't work I almost forgot to shoot the transformation that would have been bad fold the heels down bring this up fold out the wings flip this up peg the arms into place he's very small so my autofocus is having trouble and then fold these underneath and bam, alt mode. Or you fold these up and over just like that. That exposes the five millimeter peg that allows him to plug into any figure with a five millimeter port. Now he also has this little section right here. And if I grab an old Armada toy, you can then plug it into there, but it isn't the most secure thing in the world. It's, it's, not, it's not supposed to go there, it's kind of suggested but you can do that. But you can take older Minicons and plug them into a uh, windsweeper here. So, y yay. Okay, so this is just the side swept mold. There's the car, you can plug the Minicon on top. Okay, onto Prime. Truck mode first, cause this thing does a lot. And I think Commander Class has finally found its footing. With this and Magnus, it's sort of found what it wants to be. Commanders have been all over the place since they came out, you got really big guy to big animal thingy that combines to very good solid but small toy with huge trailer to combiner to this and magnus to relatively chunky toys with great plastic awesome engineering and a gimmick of some kind each i'm hoping commander stays like this because i definitely vibe with this i like this it reminds me a lot of that old leader stuff and i'm just a huge fan now the truck is epic it's a bit cleaner than the original, but it feels super solid. Nothing falls off. Everything pegs together. It's just a nice ass truck. The trailer hitch is reversed. So the original Bendy Prime or the original other Armada Prime can't hold this, which is sad, but eh, it's still cool. The trailer can fold out these little stands so it can stay by itself. And the truck, man, the, the, the truck is long. I'm not the biggest fan of how long the truck bed is because unlike the other two Armada toys, this one doesn't compress its legs at all. Fists are exposed at the back too, but that's nothing new. And the paintwork, I'd probably have mentioned this already, but it is just, it is just very, very lush. All right, so if you've ever transformed an Armada Prime, like literally any of them, original, bendy, 
your mom. It's exactly the same. It, it, it is exactly the same, but with a little, with a couple of little like engineering twists to make it feel a bit more complex. But before I leave the truck, I just want to take a look at it one more time because it looks fantastic and it feels dense. I actually, I literally just got asked the question if he feels as dense as Motormaster and as a whole, whole package, yeah, they, they, they feel about the same. But if you're looking at core robots, sorry, I'm moving around a lot, then ah, it's about as dense as this. So, well, to me anyways, why are you wobbling? To me anyways, and I love this figure. So yeah, this, this is just awesome. Anyways, you want to slide these things forward and out like this. And that's already completely different from how the original would have worked. And you just bring this down, clip it in, and then it's basically just the same sort of regular Armada Optimus affair that I need to now move up. Get the fists out, open this up, get the feet out, like that. And that's basically the original right there. That's, that's just how this one works. But then you can do the awesome thing of taking these, rotating them down, and then splitting the legs. And then that comes apart. Oh, that does wonders. Now, one thing to note is the crotch likes to split and stay split, so he's always got that like camel toe look. And I can squeeze mine together and have it stay for a little bit until I start moving the legs around, then it starts to split again. So that's a, that's a tiny bit annoying, but nah, oh well. But that's the core robot, it's transformation. Ow! Trailer! We're gonna put this in base mode, because why not? So you just fold up the struts, bring this out. We are then going to bring this out for now, just to get everything out of the way. Open these panels on the side up. Eh. Split legs, bring this down. Pull that back up. Bring these down, flip up cannon, just like that. Bring these sections down. There we go. Bring that down. Peg this in. Base mode. Base mode is definitely a base mode. It's okay, I'm just not the biggest fan of these types of things in general. So moving on to the core robot. This looks fantastic. It's not that original prototype because it was specifically made to gauge interest. It, it was all glued. This is just great. Proportions are awesome. The detail is on point. It feels fantastic. The paintwork is where it needs to be. I just love looking at it. He has the arm guns, which are blast effect compatible, and he looks great next to Megatron. Like, I can't believe we have an official good posable versions of each of these. He has a matrix, which is cool, but he can't hold it, which is a bit pain. But also like, I don't use matrixes in general, so it doesn't bother me that much. Head sculpt is very nice. It's bang on to what I remember from the show and it looks the best out of any of the official ones we've gotten. And even the fans hobby one, I sold that thing. He does have trigger happy shoulders, which is eh, but they aren't terrible because of how much room they have to operate and how fluid they feel. So that's nice. All right, before I get into the actual combo, I want to show you, or posing and then the combo, I want to show you the mess this has made filming a commander. We've got all of this and then we've got all of this and we have more stuff there. It's, it's, it's a lot. Prime's articulation is quite nice though. He's missing one, excuse me, very crucial articulation point for 2023 but there's a reason for that so head is on a ball joint which is nice exp and expressive i just wish it was a little bit more expressive like i wish he could look up a little bit further but no oh well uh shoulders can do full 360 they're on a very smooth hinge joint you got another oops, another very smooth hinge joint in and out you got bicep ro bicep rotation double jointed elbows Wrist rotation, now every joint is also super solid. Nothing is loose on my copy, which is very nice. There is nothing at the waist. And some people are bummed out about that, but like, it has to do this. There's no way to put a waist joint in there properly without it being finicky and fiddly. So like, I'm okay with no waist joint. Hip skirts and back skirts can move out of the way to accommodate legs going forward, back, in and out on regular friction joints, 
thigh rotation, 90 degrees of bend at the knee, and then the toes can move up and down. You got ankle tilt, and if you wanna just open this flap up ever so slightly, you can move the entire foot forward because it unpegs from the fist. So he, he's exposing himself. My God, man. There we go. Oops. Okay, that's another problem. The back skirt likes to come undone every now and again on mine. It's a bit eh. But yeah, he's really, really poseable. Not as poseable as like Rodimus or Motormaster because of that waist thing, but like, you gotta understand why there's no waist joint. But I just wanna bring this in one more time before I transform this guy. This is just so cool to see. God, we need a new one of this, but that's cool. So, now on to the main event, the combined mode. This is the staple of Armada Prime, the showstopper, the thing that makes most people want to buy an Armada Prime. That. Now let's make the combined mode. Combined mode time. All right, we'll do, we'll do Prime first. It, this pretty much works exactly like any other Armada Prime, even the fans hobby version would. Except you want to fold these in, rotate this out, peg this together, and then fold this around. It's a very nice and satisfying order of operations, getting the hands swung around. I don't know, I just I just like flipping them. It, it's really fun. There you go, and that fills in that gap at the back. Then, rotate the fists in. Oh, these come off, by the way, in case you wanted that. Bring this out, fold this up. Eh. On this kind of stiff double hinge, then you want to bring these down and out like that. Split this, bring it down on those real loud ratchets. Bring this up and just peg it into place. This is much more satisfying on this toy to do than the fans hobby one, which I don't have anymore because I don't like it. I liked it for a bit and now I just don't like it anymore. Flip this up, fold out the ears, bring this down, and there you go, there's the top half, done. Let's do the trailer, it's hot in here. Let's do the trailer. Rotate that, open this up, bring this section down, out, and rotate it around and peg it in, and then fold those up. Bring this section down, fold this down, Fold the heels, fold out the toes, rotate the whole waist, put it down, bring the hip skirt forward, open this up. Now, the way that this attaches is very cool. So you have these two clips right here and this section up top. So what you wanna do is you wanna take Prime with his silver painted grill and rub it into here. Yeah, that's that's a bit concerning. I've only known one person to have paint chipping ever so slightly on this, but still something to make note of. And you just slide this in like that, peg that into the shoulders and then snap it into place. And then to undo it, because there is a proper way to undo it, there are these little gray tabs on each side. You push those in and that allows you to release. That's these pieces which don't like to spring back out on their own. I have to manually push them, but yeah, that's how you do it. And you can shift this up and down if you want. I I personally just keep it down because I like that look better. But there you have Armada Prime. That looks awesome. His proportions to me are a tad bit weird. Like he's very beer gutty in the center, but it looks good otherwise. This thing is super solid. The connection between the two toys is extremely sturdy and it feels like one entire figure. Like if you didn't know who this was and didn't know it combined, you'd think it was one thing as my mom did. I just love looking at this whole thing. The detail and the paint are just spectacular for an official mainline thingy. Commander Zoro was just so nice that I don't think they've ever had a miss, even Rodimus, because I really like Rodimus. I love all the little play details on this guy, the cannons on his legs, the articulated hands, the missile rack on his back, which is blast effect compatible, and of course, the articulation. But before I get into all that though, but before I get into all that though, let me get the Overlord combo out of the way. It, it doesn't it doesn't really work super well, but it's there if you want to do it. Uh, he just wants to fall off all the time. There's no click. But yes, you can blast effect the back to make it look like he's firing missiles out of his back. That's sick. 
He has opening hands that don't do the port go away thing because of lack of space in the hand, but it's still neat. The cannons on his legs, which are cool, but don't have blast effect ports or pegs. I think that has to do with these being the bottom of the struts for the trailer. And if there were three millimeter pegs sticking off of that, they'd break easily because they'd be touching the ground a lot. So that might be why they're not there. Love the head sculpt so much here. These funny pipes and the Nightbird style mouth plate are epic, though I also wish he had red eyes. I have seen a trick where someone took a Kit Kat wrapper, cut a piece off of it and stuck it behind the eyes to give it a metallic red effect. I'm definitely going to be doing that. I bought a Kit Kat specifically to do that. He also looks great in poses, have a look. Now Armada Prime's articulation is very, very nice. The head is on an extremely expressive ball joint, as I said. You can look all around, he can tilt, he can look up. Again, I wish he could look up a little bit further. He can look up and down. Shoulders, full 360 on ratchets. Then go out that far and then out even further if you want him to reach really high. Um, when you rotate it, you're gonna have to hold it at the shoulder though, because if you try to rotate it at the arm, it will eventually just unpeg that and this will just start coming undone. So that's a bit annoying. Bicep rotation, 90 degrees of bend at the elbow, wrist rotation, hands open and close and they don't do the thing because the thing wouldn't fit. Now people, some people have a problem with this and that's how the waist works. So you gotta fold the hip skirts up and then you can rotate the waist because it's actually the crotch that's rotating. He's got PP rotation. Um, and then you fold this down, it looks a bit weird, but because of how this transforms, you can rotate this to sort of get it as flat as possible. And so at certain angles, it does look fine. Like it doesn't look fine now because he's not in a dynamic pose, but you can make it look cool. I just, I just don't like solid hip skirts. That's just me. Oh, the back one can move out as well. But we'll move this out of the way. Legs go forward. They go back, in and out. Really stiff thigh rotation. 90 degrees of bend at the knee. And then he's got ankle tilt and a toe bend, which isn't super strong, but it is it is there if you want to use it, if you can use it. He's leaning forward. Eh. Now, one little issue that I have with the hip skirts is these little tabs right here, they like to get caught in the in the gaps a lot. And so when you go to move it, you're like, oh, I just gotta move this. You're like, oh, he's standing up straight. And then these will just like push in and lock the legs. It is a tiny bit annoying, but like, you can also just get around it. It's not that bad. Yeah, get one. <laughs> get one now. The, if the original designer, Aaron Archer, likes this thing a lot, then I think they hit the nail right on the head. It's an epic commander. Sure, it may be a tad shorter than others, and it has a couple of little nitpicky things for me. It just does so much that I like it and don't care about those issues. 90 US dollars for this is epic. I just think it's a good toy and it's a definitely a top 10 contender for sure this year. That was a lot of T's in that sentence. But that's my look at Armada Optimus Prime from Legacy. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I will see you next time. Bye bye.